Hello and welcome to Topaz Labs Video AI Tutorials. Today we will look into enhancing a low quality video of 320 by 240 that will be upscaled by four times its original format. In the process, I will show you how to add a second enhancement. Let's begin. There was a time where this resolution was popular, especially for early phone video capture and photography cameras that captured video. Additionally, this was a resolution easier to send for its smaller size via the internet. That being said, sometimes this is the only version of the video that may exist. When scaling up, we are going to push these pixels to the extreme by four times the original resolution. This is already going to be a challenge, so it's not really recommended to scale up beyond four times. Here we have a classic film to Scarlet Pimpernel. The video here is low in quality and very compressed. I've picked a section that I feel would best showcase the scale up. So to get started, let's go ahead and go to the output resolution. And we're going to go here and select the preset of four times upscale. Okay. And that'll give us our final resolution of 1280 by 960. And that's perfect. As far as pixel type, we're going to keep this as original. You have a choice to go square pixel, but I'm just going to leave this alone. Being that this is not interlaced, we could go ahead and skip interlaced and interlaced progressive. That is when you see the fields going across, which are the little lines. In this case, we do not have that. So we're going to stick to progressive as your video type. Now there are many different AI models you could choose from. Each one has a specific purpose they were built for. But when you start getting more comfortable, you start to realize what each of these have their pros and which one to use for certain situations. In our case, we're going to go ahead and use Nix. Nix is very common, especially older films and VHSC, VHS. There's a certain quality that Nix does. Most of the time, these older videos have some sort of artifacts or compression, especially as the, the tape tends to dissolve or come apart a little bit. And what that does, it flattens those artifacts while retaining those hard edges and details. And so it's, it's a very useful AI model to use to bring out the essence of the original video, especially at a smaller scale. In this case, being that this is uh, very small, at 320 by 240, this may be the perfect tool to use. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and have Nick selected. And as far as add noise, I'm going to leave this at zero. Recover at detail. Now, I already have this set to zero, but normally, let me double click this. Normally, you'll see recover detail set to 20. Recover detail is essentially a threshold. How much of the original version do you want to keep? Here, the they're keeping it at 20% or you can have 100%. In my case, I do not want to keep any of the original artifacts or compression or issues, so I'm going to set this to zero. And as a small recap, if you do have this moved anywhere and you forgot what the original setting or default setting was, you just double click the slider knob here and that'll bring you back to the original setting. Focus fix, we're not going to do anything here, we're just going to leave it as is. I want to preserve the film or the video clip as it was intended, so I'll leave this alone. Grain, again, I'll leave that alone. Model variant. For this model, there are two variants. There's Nix and Nix Fast. Nix Fast can leave some slight artifacts, and this is more on the subtle side, but this tool runs fast enough where the difference is minor, so I'm just going to keep it at the regular Nix. Um, if you run it this way without this selected, it's going to run at auto. In my case, I have tested this already. I'm going to go ahead and enable parameters. Now, whenever you enable parameters, you'll see a dynamic and manual tab. We're going to move to manual, but dynamic with this is, is essentially these are all the auto settings. Right now, it's set to zero because it's assuming you don't want to change anything from auto. Now, if you'd prefer to make a modification on, let's say, reduce noise, you want more it's going to add more to the auto setting. So let's go to manual and it's good to go ahead and set estimate. This will show you exactly what 
the tools thinking we should use in our settings. This is doing a few frames forward, a few frames back, and it's guesstimating or estimating what sort of setting should be for your footage. Let's just go ahead and render this real quick just to see what the auto is. So right now I have render in and out. This is for more in and out points. I did select, I did pre-select the clip. If you click here on the little carrot, it would bring a drop down menu. You could select how many f uh, seconds or even five frames you'd like to see. In this case, I'm just gonna render the in and out. Okay, looks like we're done. So that already isn't too bad at all. Let's compare to the original. There's two ways to do that. If you're on single mode, you could just click and hold and I'll show it before, let go, after. I prefer the split view. It's just a little easier to see the difference immediately. Okay, not too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and make some modifications myself. Let's see. Sharpen, definitely want more. Now you could just type this in, as you can see, I'm just typing in the settings. You could always just grab the sliders themselves um, and do those changes. So, so what am I doing? D halo is essentially getting rid of little halos on the sharpened edges that you may see. This is actually very common in older VHSC and VHS footage. Let's see. I do want to add a little softening to the edges. There, this will help prevent any any alias edges. Um, let's say ten. Now grain I'm going to leave alone. Okay, let's go ahead and run this. Wow. Now that is looking pretty darn good. So here's what we had before, and here's what we have now. Yeah, that's looking pretty sweet. All right, cool. Now then I'm just going to go ahead and play it so you can kind of see what the rest of the scene looks like. Let me pause somewhere. Yeah, night and day. Huge difference. That's pretty cool. Alrighty. Okay, I think we could go a little bit further than this. I would like to add a second enhancement. So here it is, it's ready to go. In this case, if let's say you don't have that second enhancement ready, go to File, Preferences, and navigate all the way down to Features. See under the Advanced tab? And it's the first one, Show Second Enhancement Features. Have that selected and be sure to save. Now I've had this file open, which is why it was visible. So there you go, and you should be able to see this here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click this and that allows me to add a second enhancement on top of the first one. If your system is not capable of being able to run multiple enhancements, then it'll be a good idea to render first enhancement first and then just bring it in. Uh, in the VFX industry, we just call that a pre-comp. I'm going to go ahead and use Thea, which is already selected here. There's a bunch of different ones. Thea is really good for getting those little subtle final details. I already think the NYX that we used is looking quite stellar. I'm just thinking we could go just a little further and just a little bit more sharpening. At default, this is set to zero. I'm gonna go ahead and, and just bring the fixed compression up just a little. Maybe 13, and sharpen, let's do 20. Reduce noise, and we'll stick around the same range. So 17, so they're kind of similar. So let's go ahead and render this out. All right, that looks great. Let's see. Let's go ahead and play that. Now 
I'm seeing some a little bit of textures going on here, which is fine. But to reduce that, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of noise. This kind of breaks up some of those little tiny patterns that you may see. I'm going to just bring this up to four. Now, this is really great when you when you're using a tool and you may have removed the compression or the the noise of the actual footage, you might get some patterns or it's very very flat looking and that's just the nature removing a lot of the compression. It's sometimes good to add a little noise to kind of break that details up. Uh, in this case it's just from the old compression that's been removed so we're just going to add a little bit of noise here to kind of break that stuff up and have a better quality video. So let's render that out. Yeah, that's already so much better. Okay, great. This is the result. Let me go ahead and show you a little before, after. I mean, how cool is that? That's really freaking cool. Let me just start from the beginning and play it through. This is much easier to watch than the really compressed version. And we are four times the scale. So that's quite nice. And then now let's just pick a scene and a clip at random. All right, a night scene. That's actually perfect. So I'm gonna just make that my new spot. Look at that, not bad at all. Yeah, these results are great. So, the sequence in the daytime and in the night, it still works very, very well. That concludes this tutorial. Thanks for joining me on another Topaz Labs Video AI tutorial. And have fun enhancing those videos.